Good day to everyone. Today we're going to discuss an issue that is not just political, but deeply moral and spiritual in nature, the topic of abortion. Before we delve into this matter, let's be reminded of the sobering statistic that around 930,000 abortions occur each year in the United States alone. As followers of the Bible, what should be our stance? How do we reconcile this with the teachings of our faith? Let's explore. In the book of Genesis, it states, God created man in his own image. This tells us that every human being is a unique and irreplaceable creation of God, deserving respect, dignity, and the right to life. Our founding fathers declared in the Declaration of Independence that all are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life. This aligns remarkably well with the biblical view. Isaiah warns, Woe to those who enact evil statutes, so as to rob the poor of my people of their rights. I can't help but see a connection here. The unborn, the most vulnerable among us, are being robbed of the most basic right, the right to life. Proverbs 31, 9 instructs us to open your mouth, defend the rights of the afflicted and needy. We have a moral and spiritual obligation to defend these innocent lives. If not you, then who? We can. Pray fervently for a change in the hearts of those considering abortion and for the leaders who make the laws. Support organizations that offer alternatives to abortion and assist mothers in need. Engage in peaceful, respectful dialogue to raise awareness. Advocate for laws that protect the unborn and support the family unit. Vote for public officials who align with these values. We must come together to honor the sanctity of life, not just because it's a political issue, but because it's a matter that touches the very heart of God. We are called to be the voice for the voiceless. Thank you for joining us in this important discussion. May God bless you, and may God bless the countless lives that hang in the balance.